Uh, yes, um, I think actually our first half was not that good. Uh, I think that was average, if not a little bit less than that. I think Chelsea were good uh, first half. Uh, I think you can see the exciting potential in the in the Chelsea team. And uh, from from that first half, if I was a, a Chelsea supporter or anyone associated with Chelsea, I would be um, uh, positive about them. I know it's about results and all that, but I'm, I'm convinced that will come. Um, second half, uh, so no, at half time, so I said, I said to my players, we need to believe. Uh, I didn't see enough belief in, in first half. I think we hang in there, defended well. I don't think we gave big chance after big chance away to, to Chelsea, but we gave too much away to, to what we normally do if we perform at a high level. Um, plus on the ball, I don't think we're cool enough. Uh, only in short spells and we're not, not enough quality. So we a little bit with the structure, a little bit more, a few more passes when we could. Um, and I think our defending was, was so much better. Um, and of course, the first goal always changed the dynamic a little bit in the game. But the way we defended was fantastic. I think we gave one half chance away, I think, in the end of the game. I think it was Madueke, who's flashed it across uh, the six yard box. Um, that's very impressive. Thomas. Uh Obviously passed off the chance of Brian scored it. Um, it's been a year since he scored a goal. What does that say about his character that he was willing to give that up? I mean, if I, I, <laughs> uh, a lot, to be fair. I think he tried to score. Uh, so, uh, and 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 I think it. Uh, I think uh, and I wanted him to get the goal. Yeah. I think Sanchez almost caught him, and I'm also happy that Sanchez didn't because that probably would be a red card, and I don't think you know deserve that because you're chasing back in that moment. So he just got out of balance uh, in that situation. Uh, but I would praise his character because you're spot on. I think he's been very good for, uh, for us. Last three weeks, I think he trained very well and he's getting closer to the meal I, I, I know very well. Um, and he performed well uh, last game against Burnley. I think today again, you know, worked hard, evolved the, the assist that should have been a goal for Brian Obuemo, the, the cross under, well, it was very good. And then also, Um, players are very switch on, very flexible. Uh, uh, it's something we work hard on on the, on the training pitch to be able to have uh, to, to have both tactical systems depending on on who we are facing. Of course, we know we are going to stand the bridge against a very good Chelsea side that we knew in spells we would defend um, a lot. So we know when we do that in in the in the structure, um, we 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 normally do that do that well. But big credit to the players. Thomas, were you surprised to see a member of the Chelsea coaching staff appear in your tent area? Can you uh, tell us what was said? Uh, I was surprised, yes. <laughs> but uh, I was standing there watching the game and then suddenly there was a lot of shouting behind me and then I don't know exactly what, what happened uh, in that situation. But of course, he wasn't in our technical area and that was a little bit surprising. But, um, just, I saw you gesturing to Bernardo to, to calm down. Uh, no, I think uh, in, in general, I, I, my, I try to stay cool. I'm not perfect uh, in, in any way. Uh, I also got a bit of the temper, but I'm cool, 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 and then I explode sometimes. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, in general, we need to be good at the bench in general. Also, my whole staff, not only but on the whole. Uh, and uh, it's a heated game, so sometimes it can be difficult. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's clear um, what what they want to achieve. Um, I think did I read something about that they won three in a row and then the draw against Arsenal. I think that's a clear improvement. I think first half you, you could see they came with a lot of confidence um, and and they they troubled us. Um, even that I think we can play better, they still made it difficult for for for, for us. So for me, I think it, uh, I will take a lot of positive out of the first half. Thomas, can I ask you about the, the second goal? Because I realized in the first half, you kept on speaking to Neil, even when he wasn't on the pitch. And every time you had a set piece, you felt you walk away. You spoke to Neil, and then eventually he comes on and then breaks out with the best goal. Did you actually break that house? Or 
No, not exactly that. But when I speak to the players, it's more about they, of course, know the game plan and they know what they need to do. But just, you know, the small adjustments, adjustments if they we defend low or they, when we try to press high or what we do on the ball. So it's more about that in the, than the specific set piece. Thomas, also, um, Ethan Pinnock scored again today against the big club and he's now scored against Liverpool, City and Chelsea this is the Premier League. He just seems to pop up against the big teams and also defensively. Actually, been disappointing with him not scoring more hitters with his size and ability. So actually, been we've been half joking, half pushing him a bit. So I think it was a brilliant, brilliant header today. Um, I think he is very underrated. If I was any manager in every any team, and I wanted a top central defender, I'll pick him. But the way he defend the box, yes, I, I'll back myself on the coaching staff to hopefully give him some guidelines and structure but he deserved 95 of the, the credit. The way he defend the box, the way he defend transitions, the way he defend against a Jackson that is rapid, um, I think he deserve a, a lot of credit for that. Um, just another one, Kevin, I know you were involved, playing on the end, the team potentially breaking your legs, I understand it was on the last day, how did that be with him going, did you say that was the best performance so far in that for sure? Uh, probably yes. Probably yes, I need to look it back. There's always small details, but I think especially first half, I think you were involved in some, no, sorry, second half, in some crucial interceptions down the left-hand side and then really cool on the ball. Um, so I think that was definitely a step forward uh, on, on his performances. And again, natural, you know, you're coming into a club uh, and need to, to, to settle in. Uh, one player, another player, I think, to serve praise actually is Mark Flecken. Um, uh, coming in and... Uh, um, need to step up uh, to the plate after a good goalkeeper from David Raya. We know how good Mark is, and I think he's been really showing that. Not only because of the two clean sheets, but but um, his calmness, distribution, um, good positions, very good.